Okay, we've moved outside. I've got it in forward gear. It is the very first time that it will be started, so let's see how it goes. Okay, you can hear the burner. I'll just leave it low for a couple of minutes just to, to get the thing warmed up. And then, um, then we'll open the burner a bit to get the, the pressure going. Just going to walk around the locomotive, check for any gas leaks or whatever. Ok, we'll turn the gas uh, up a bit. And there's going to be a bit of oil uh, smoke coming off because it's new and everything. But we'll just uh, keep it going. The outside thermometer says it's 6 degrees centigrade so it's not really ideal. It is December when I'm filming this. We'll wait for the next stage is to get a registration from uh, of uh, pressure in the boiler from uh, from the pressure gauge. First time uh, steaming a, a loco is all is always uh, exciting. Bit something coming out of the chimney already. I hope I've got the steam regulator shut. Pressure is slowly starting to build up. It's now 20 psi. On um, my other roundhouse locos uh, that are already running and everything, it uh, it runs on 20 psi and a little bit less. They uh, they run on that pressure no problem at all. But here we're taking it up to 40 because we want to see the safety valve pop. Safety valve uh, roundhouse safety valves standard. They normally um, start to lift a little bit before 40, around about 35 or something. Nearly at 40. It's 40. And the safety valve is... Oh, it's just starting to weep now, I think. Yeah, there it goes. Just starting to weep now, see it? There it goes. Yeah, now it's lifting. It's indicated just about 40. Okay, we'll turn the gas down. Okay, see if we can open the regulator and see if she goes. Okay, under her own steam. This puddle that you see at the front, that's quite normal because there's all the all the condensed 
in the cylinder that, that comes out there normally as long as it's not excessive pressures dip down I'll try again let's go on the other side so you guys can see it Okay, I've just cleaned a pool of water underneath. I just want to make sure that there's not a um, significant leak of water, that it is just the condensation uh, being uh, being spewed out. Sorry if my head was in the way there, I'm just looking the gaskets from the cylinders to see if they leak. I'm trying to see if I can whether the, the valve chest covers, whether they're leaking or not. been at least 15 minutes uh, on the go now approaching 20 yeah I think we're running out of gas now see the pressures falling away I actually squirted a bit more oil on stopped it and put a bit more oil on the valve gear just in case it was uh, drying up but it's the oil pressure, it's gone now. Pressure's gone, tank's empty. Turn the valve right open. And you can always tell, besides no, no, no steam pressure, turn the valve right open you don't hear the gas valve so that's it the first steam run so um, we'll let it cool off a little bit and then we'll do the same in reverse and my intention is because in the factory they they run the the chassis uh, eight hours in front and reverse to uh, to bed it all in my intention is to do 15 15 runs in forward and reverse and uh, it should be bedded in enough then, it should be running smoothly then and uh, then we'll fine tune the valve gear if that's necessary and then we'll crack on uh, to other things. Okay before getting ready for the next run, I just for those that haven't seen it before, I'd just like to show you about uh, draining the lubricate, steam lubricate. So you remove the top first And although you can see what the level has gone down and then it's all about draining the water uh, from the bottom so I'm going to try and do this so perhaps you can see it on the camera I don't know how I'm going to do this but now you see the water coming out I hope that's visible here's the water coming out so and then you leave this open until you get like an oil sludge coming out no need to take it all the way out so there's 
the oil's coming out now, so the, the, the water layer at the bottom, that's, uh, that's been drained away, so you can tighten this up again. And get ready for the next run. So I'll do that, and this time I'm going to be uh, running it in reverse. Okay, this is the second run, and this time we've got it, we put it into reverse gear, and uh, we're nearly uh, at working pressure, and uh, we'll see how it goes in reverse. I won't be showing you much of this, just to, just to let you guys see it in reverse. See if it works. Like a lot of condensed water came out just then. In reverse. <laughs> 